are at a remodel project where we're going to do some bibs insulation up in the ceiling and some spray foam insulation in the walls. Okay, so there's two different types of insulation in this project and you mentioned one of them is spray foam. Do you get a lot of calls on that because with all the insulation products out there it seems like spray foam is in vogue these days. We get a ton of calls regarding spray foam. Should we use it? Shouldn't we use it? And in all honesty, Stuart, the conception is out there that spray foam is the best insulation product. It is a good product, but we always recommend getting a hold of a professional, letting them evaluate the job, because there may very well be another application of insulation that we can use that will work just as good and be more cost effective than the spray foam. It seems to me you really want to talk to an experienced professional who knows all the different products. Now in this situation, why are you spray foaming the walls? We chose to do the spray foam application in here because this is a below grade wall. So we want something that's going to seal this wall and if it were to ever leak, not absorb any moisture. So spray foam was the best fit for this particular project. Are there any other areas in a typical home that spray foam really works better than other options? We always recommend that the box sill areas of a home get spray foamed as well. There's always a lot of penetrations heading out that area, so it's a really good idea to use that spray foam in that application to seal that up as well. Really, it's a good air barrier. Exactly. Okay, so why are you going with the fiberglass bibs product or blown and blanket in this application? Well, the ceiling actually has a little bit more volume to it than what this wall space did. So number one, we're gonna get them a product and a system in here that's a little bit easier on their pocketbook, Stuart. Sure. Not only that, but we have enough depth there to get enough and efficient R values and a little sidekick, it's going to be a great sound barrier for him as well because this is an exposed deck above this. So to me it seems I want to work with an experienced professional who has access to all the different products, but more importantly is experienced so that it really matches my situation. Exactly, Stuart. You want to make sure that you're getting a professional over to make sure you're not overly spending your budget, getting the right system, and adhering to state building code as well. For more information on this and other energy saving ideas, be sure to check out the full video library at rockweilerinsulation.com.